the new sprinter will reach the next level and it will redefine it. We are going to deliver proof of that tonight. Having said that, welcome to Duisburg. Next level is the right headline for this event because the new sprinter will once more set standards. In a segment that it has given its name to more than 20 years ago, the sprinter is the cello tape and the Kleenex of the transport industry. When you want to move house, you don't order a panel van. You ask for a sprinter. And by the way, most presents are not brought by Santa Claus, but by a sprinter. So it's no surprise that the Sprinter is for Mercedes-Benz vans, while the S-Class is for passenger cars. It's an icon. It's the core of the brand, the driving force behind change and technological innovation. They are both the measure of all things in their respective segment. For instance, in 1995, the Sprinter was the first van in its class with ABS. It received ESP in 2002 and in 2013, Euro 6 engines and crosswind assist were added. The new Sprinter will seamlessly continue this history of innovation, way beyond just the hardware. The big topics that the new Sprinter gives answers to are relevant for the entire industry. I'm talking about connection and digitization. It's about increasing automation of driving and of course it's about electric and alternative drivetrains. At Daimler we summarize these future topics under the headline CASE which stands for Connected Autonomous Shared and Electric. No other OEM comes even close and to our possibilities to benefit from our different divisions from vans over trucks, buses, mobility services and passenger cars and we will use this strategic advantage. It was only last Friday when we presented the new Mercedes A-Class in Amsterdam. We also presented MBUX, our completely new infotainment system. MBUX will fundamentally change the way we interact with our vehicles or navigate to new destinations. MBX is capable of learning and it adapts to the individual needs of drivers. The new Sprinter will be the second vehicle in our company to get MBUX. Many functions like navigation to exactly the right loading dock with a precision of one meter going to help commercial users in particular. And that is what Next Level means to us. We want to offer the best possible tailor-made overall package to our customers. And today, this is mainly about the right combination of hardware and software. Might be useful for a car driver to use a smartphone app to access the key vehicle data. But for a fleet customer, this might even mean a solid competitive advantage. So why should they ignore that? Electrification is not an important topic besides connectivity. Electromobility will first of all succeed in cities. For commercial delivery services, alternative drive trains offer an interesting option, also in terms of range. Forecasts for the CEP industry are pointing up steeply for the next few years. This is why we're extending our portfolio. Our commercial vehicle portfolio will become electric step by step. In 2017, we've presented the e canter and the e-veto. This year, the electric Citaro city bus will follow. And today we show, besides internal combustion engines, an outlook to the electric sprinter. And that says, shows how the new Sprinter helps to intelligently link the case principles to BASF elements and Vanguard in its segment. Our case 
activities require major investment. And we can afford them because our core business is going better than ever. We sold almost 3.3 million cars, buses, trucks and vans last year. January was our 59th record month in sequence for cars. And in 2017, we've been once more the most successful premium brand in the world. Vans have four the best ever years in sequence. Again, the lion's share falls to the current sprinter, who is saying goodbye for his last full year with a new sales record. Daimler, Daimler benefits as a whole from that success. They grew turn over, went up by 7% to 164.3 million euros. The EBIT has grown twice as much as the turnover, which means we've grown very profitably. From this position of strength out, we've made great plans for 2018 we will strengthen our core business across all divisions. At the same time, we will further develop the 4K's principles and our transformation goes even further than that. Because as much as products are changing, just as much needs Daimler to change as a company to be able to translate the opportunities of future into convincing products, we need a new culture. Daimler has started this cultural change with the Leadership 2020 program. This initiative has now thousands of ambassadors across all levels of hierarchy and all locations worldwide. I am one of them. And this spirit of pioneering is enormous. We want to use that and extend it in 2018, which means seeing more opportunities rather than risks understanding change as something that we need to work on day in, day out. I'm proud to have a team that can put together a vehicle like the new Sprinter. And I'm proud to see how much all employees in all areas of this company have the will and the wish for change. It's exactly this combination that lifts Daimler to the next level. And I'm happy to be able to contribute to that, together with 290,000 Daimler employees, to shape the future of Daimler together. I believe that our board member for Human Resources agree with me. Willie, the stage is yours. Thank you, Dieter. Meine Damen und Thank Herren, you, der Sprinter ist ein Hightech-Fahrzeug. The Sprinter is a high-tech vehicle. The reason for its huge success is easily explained. There's always a human being at the center. And by that, I don't just mean our customers. I mean the people who are involved in bringing such a vehicle to customers, people who work with those customers closely together. Dieter has talked about a cultural change, and that is also elementary for our new Sprinter generation. Our leadership initiative brings the collaboration and working together in our company to the next level. One concrete example of that is the production of the new Sprinter. In our plans, our processes have been made even more economic and efficient. Our colleagues in production should benefit from a highly modern work environment, which is more important than ever, because with our continuous growth, our challenges grow too. First of all, because of the excellent sales figures of the Sprint in 2017, we have increased our production volume. And secondly, with the new generation, we will once more add more variants. Good news, we are very well prepared for that. Not just in terms of our strategy, as Volker Monenweg will tell you, but also as regards our workforce. The Sprinter is leading in its segment, and with our excellent workforce, we will keep the worldwide Sprinter production network at the highest technical level. Every node in the global production network has been perfectly tailored to the product and its processes. On every location, we have highly qualified and skilled experts 
We're all doing Schon jetzt a great job. profitieren unsere Mitarbeiterinnen und Mitarbeiter vielerorts von der zunehmenden Digitalisierung der Werke. The Projekte wie die papierlose Fabrik like oder fahrerlose Transportsysteme entlasten sie von Routinearbeit. Für den Wissenstransfer beim work. neuen Sprinter We haben wir außerdem ein umfassendes Personalaustauschprogramm aufgesetzt. Es gibt einen intensiven Austausch There zwischen unserem neuen Werk in Charleston und den Standorten in Charleston. Denn die deutschen Werke in Düsseldorf und Ludwigsfelde haben eine besondere Bedeutung für unseren Sprinter verbunden. Düsseldorf zum ist seit Jahren das Sprinter-Kompetenzzentrum. Als Leitwerk for the ist for years, und bleibt es Dreh- und Angelpunkt der weltweiten Produktion. Deshalb wird hier auch zukünftig der Elektrosprinter vom Band laufen. Why the in Ludwigsfelde wiederum will be built haben wir in, in der Vergangenheit immer wieder Pilotprojekte gestartet pilot rund um die Industrie 4.0. Dort ermöglicht die Radio Frequency Identification, RFID, for instance, we use zum Beispiel RFID seit einiger Zeit Technology, die Lokalisierung Radio Frequency und Identifikation Unsere Zulieferer versehen bestimmte Bausteile, Bauteile so dazu mit einem Chip. Dadurch lässt sich jederzeit suppliers. bestimmen, wo im Produktionsprozess sich das manuelle Anbringen und Abscannen von Schlüssen no unsere Mitarbeiter können sich Instead of doing that, our employees can focus on a challenging assembly task. RFID goes in serious production with the new Sprinter, and in the future it will also be used in other locations. Ladies and gentlemen, with these and similar technologies, we want to fully digitize our worldwide production until 2025, so that our colleagues all around the globe can work under the best possible conditions. In total, we'll be investing more than 200 million euros into the next the level of our Sprinter production. The new Sprinter doesn't deserve anything else. A world vehicle, a top-class world vehicle, also needs a global top team. The Sprinter is and remains a vehicle by professionals for professionals. Volker Morningweg will now tell you what is so special about the third generation. Volker, the stage is yours. Thank you, Willi. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you're right. Our Sprinter is a global vehicle. All around the globe, um, it has, is, enjoys a unique standing as a reliable, economic, and extremely flexible van. And uh, there's a reason why the entire segment is named after it. The figures just speak for themselves. Since the launch in 1995, we've sold more than 3.4 million sprinters. In 2017 alone, sale, more than 200,000 units were sold. That's a record, and this in the last full sales year. And with that, the Sprinter defined the pace for Mercedes-Benz vans on the whole. In 2017, on the sales side, uh, was our fourth record year in a row compared to the previous year. Sales went up by 12% to more than 400,000 units for the first time. And regarding sales and EBIT, in 2017, we did very well. Our ROI's target of 9% was reached. And despite record investments of uh, several billion euros, we were able to keep the level of the previous year. And therefore, I'd like to thank my, uh, the entire team of Mercedes-Benz Vans. Great work. Thank you very much. Our new flagship will therefore start with the winds behind and with today's world premiere, the Sprinter will again be 
raised to an entirely new level and with it our entire business because the new sprinter generation embodies a comprehensive change within Mercedes-Benz vans. Our customers uh, have to deal with a new and changed field. The urban space is getting denser, supply chains get more complex, delivery times get shorter and sustainability gets even more important. In this respect, we and context, we want to provide comprehensive support to our customers, provide reliable solutions that go beyond the vehicle alone. We use our strong position, therefore, for fundamental changes. We will change from a pure vehicle manufacturer to the provider of a comprehensive solution provider for transportation and mobility solutions. Therefore, we have started and launched our future inif initiative, Advance, which by now is covering five fields. Digital Advance is about connectivity and the digital connectivity of our vehicles. Solution Advance is used for developing hardware solutions, which will make the day-to-day uh, -day business of our customers more efficient. Rental Advance is about rental and innovative rental concepts with a pay-per-use uh, approach, mobility on demand. In other words, sharing advance deals with new concepts for passenger transport and e-drive advance um, is something that we use to develop a comprehensive approach for e-mobility. The new Sprinter is the first van series to bring together all those aspects right from the beginning. And with that, it is the first van of a new type, of a new species, in a way, of a fully connected package, solu package solution. On the one hand, we improve the Sprinter's classical strength. And on the other hand, and this is decisive, we complemented the new Sprinter by intelligent products and services. The new Sprinter, basically, is similar or is uh, regarding conventional vans like a smartphone and a s normal cell phone. So what have we reach do we reach with that? The new Sprinter becomes the integral part of the value creation chain for our customers. We open up a new level in terms of efficiency, flexibility, connectivity and profitability. And this is made to suit your individual industry. It starts with the fact that the Sprinter is even more versatile than ever before because it must be an all-rounder, multi-talented all-rounder. Imagine companies deliver cement bags to a construction size, groceries to the farmer's market, and VIPs to the opera house. The entire vehicle architecture, therefore, is working as a modular concept. It uses even more flexible combination options uh, from body lengths, drive uh, systems, body forms, tonnages, and cargo space heights and engine variants. This combination offers a possible 1,700 basic variants of the new Sprinter, and this kind of flexibility is unprecedented. And uh, this was just the beginning. Let me start uh, giving you three examples of application fields and what opportunities the new Sprinter opens up for our customers. Let's start with the CP industry. That's the abbreviation for Korea Express and Parcel Services. It's a booming industry, not only in Germany. In 2016, 3 billion parcels were delivered in Germany alone, and in 2020 it could be more than 4 billion. The cost pressure of it is enormous and tremendous because the aver average revenue per parcel is going down. So for our customers, maximum reliability and profitability counts. Therefore, we have introduced some novelties in terms of drivetrain. The tried and tested rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive will now be complemented by a front-wheel drive option. Advantages, 50 kilograms more payload and the load seal is lower by 80 millimeters and the, um, the delivery um, person will be th grateful for that. And we can offer our customers a very economic entry-level price for a, the version. And another drive system is very interesting, electric drive, because that is the new, th that is the 
uh, an option for uh, delivery services, which is most frequently used. It will be available um, next year. We develop individual system solutions together with our customers. That's an ecosystem, chargy, charging station, and digital services included. So, in a nutshell, in terms of die in the dynamic CP industry, we provide the right tractive power. But also, in another segment, the new flexibility and variety offers new options. Thanks to the front wheel drive, the new Sprinter can also be offered as a pure traction head. And this gives the bodybuilder more freedom to develop their bodies in the uh, recreational vehicles markets and camper van vehicles. Um, uh, this will be used um, for more than 10 years, um, the demand for camper vans has increased. In Germany alone, um, sales between 2009 to 2016 has uh, grown from just under two to more than four billion euros. This is a market potential that we want to seize. When it comes to passenger transportation, we the, the new Sprinter has three more Mercedes core competencies, comfort, safety, and design. For example, we have optimized the seat configuration, and besides of the driver and passenger seat, the rear bench seats have been made even more comfortable, starting with practical cup holders, up to USB charging sockets and storage rooms for smartphones. Part of the comfort of uh, passengers includes connectivity and therefore uh, every new Sprinter offers a Wi-Fi hotspot in particular when it comes to longer journeys that is a huge benefit in terms of comfort and the value appeal or the perceived value is um, or should be at car passenger car level um, on request the new Sprinter has a large number of safety and assistance systems on board that used to be reserved to passenger cars in detail we offer the brake assist, lane keeping assist, blind spot assist and attention assist and in addition to that there is assistance systems used for crosswinds for windshield uh, wipers and for optimal use of the lighting systems and beyond that we offer a package for park assist systems that includes a 360 degree camera and of course the radar based distance control system distronic and but finally every van is also a signboard a business card of the company so design is not irrelevant and particularly when it comes to shuttle services and the team uh, around gordon wagner did a great job well ladies and gentlemen as you see the new sprinter cuts a dash in every sense my third example of an industry is the service. Ja. Viele dieser Fahrzeuge gehören zu Flotten. These vehicles Deshalb are part of a fleet, and therefore an efficient fleet management is of great importance. So the new Sprinter has been turned into a smart hardware in a way. It will become the node of the Internet of Things. Thanks to the new COM module, the communication module, the vehicle will be permanently connected to the Internet. Connectivity is a fixed part of the Sprinter DNA. And this is where Mercedes Pro Connect comes into play. It is, so to speak, the operating system of our Sprinter hardware. It's a digital ecosystem that makes sure that our vehicles and services are connected to each other. A smartphone app is used and allows the uh, drivers to access vehicle status information and functions. Let me give you an example. The logistics manager of a fleet from his office can check the destination fuel level and the tours and the routes of it, his vehicles while they are on the road. And should the situation change, 
uh, at short notice, an algorithm will calculate the new route, and the logistics manager can contact the colleagues in the vehicle and transmit the new destinations to the navigation system that will save time, money, and nerves. And in addition to that, we have the MBUX multimedia system, which allows an even more intuitive operation. Ever since its premiere, as Dieter mentioned, last Friday, many of you uh, reported and covered the new system in their reports. It's a high-tech revolution presented by Mercedes-Benz. It is the best complement to our flagship vehicle. In terms of navigation, Mercedes-Benz is the first the first um, vehicle manufacturer to work or to use what three words. This uh, geocoding geo system allows you to navigate to any location on Earth with a resolution of three meters without any street names or address. That's particularly helpful when you go to a large construction site or a power pole in the middle of nowhere in the open terrain. The name, what three words, is used because every navigation square in the world, on the globe, is given a unique string of three English words that's easy to remember and easy to communicate. Hey, Mercedes, where are we exactly? We are located on the Mercator Island in Duisburg. The address translate deep truck steering. Well, that seems to fit. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that our new flagship offers an arsenal of innovation and innovative features. And how this turns into an innovative, comprehensive solution, this is what we would like to show you after the reveal in the individual boxes of the industry. I think by now you've seen that the Sprinter will again be a game changer. Together with our customers, we have developed the new Sprinter as part of your value creation chain. So our new flagship becomes the tailor-made overall system solution. Smart hardware, which we will use to raise level. the segment and our business to the next level. In, in Europe, Europe, the new printer will be available as of June from, from, from your dealers, Euro. available Aber starting from 20,000 euros. But ladies and gentlemen, see for yourselves.
Ja, würde ich auch sagen. Ich meine, wir, Hot and Cool. Hot and Cool. Ich muss jetzt aber ein Zahn sagen. Was? Ja, ist Was? <lacht> Kann man jetzt auswählen. Ja, genau. Was für ein großartiges Fahrzeug. What a great vehicle. Ja, Ladies and gentlemen, take a look and see for yourself. That's the new Sprinter. Thank you very much. Enjoy the presentations at the various stations. Thank you. Das Rennen beginnt erst.